Hi everyone. Welcome to week two. Hope you had a good week one. I haven't heard from too many of you, so I'm hoping that no news is good news. I've really enjoyed reading your discussion board um, assignment relating to VoiceThread, and I'm starting to see more and more of you post on actual VoiceThread, so it's neat to hear your voices as well. Uh, we're moving on to week two, and in weeks two and three, we're going to be looking at accessing and organizing the internet. Before we dive into web literacy, which we're going to look at in week four and possibly week five, the Allen November material, we're going to focus on organizing it because once you start diving into the internet, you have to have a way to make sense of the insanity of it all. So I thought I'd begin with a module or two, actually two modules, on accessing and organizing the in internet. And this week you're also going to get some context. You're going to get a little introduction to Web 2.0. So that's thrown in there as well. Um, just a few announcements. Make sure you review the voice threads from last week. You can link to get to the voice thread for our class by going back to the week one weekly activities and there's a direct link embedded in the weekly activities. And check out your classmates. Um, I did want to say something about the next couple of modules. The only way I know how to put it is they're he a little heavy on the detail-y sorts of things. I have you going through some pretty detailed steps so you can understand how to use in particular this tool called Digo. I want you to know if that really annoys you, you don't have to worry about that you know being a part of every single module. Um, there's kind of at the beginning a lot of setting up of accounts to do and learning how certain technologies work and that requires working through some of these minute detail-y step-by-step sorts of things. So I just want you to know that that won't be the way every single module goes. Um, also I ask you to do lots of reflecting, lots of responding in, in the form of discussion board prompts and blogging and I wanted to say something about my expectations for that um, especially for the blogging because that's truly free form you you there's a lot you could respond to so I want to leave it up to you to identify what sparks your interest and go deep with that so if you watch all of the Ken Robinson videos and um, there are two or three things you want to just focus on, just do that. Or one thing, um, I want you to identify what it is that really um, gives you um, or inspires you. I guess that's what I'm trying to say. So I think that's about it for today um, and this week. Like I said, next week we'll do a part two, and on my screen I'll be able to show you that. We're going to be looking at Google Reader and RSS next week. This week, though, it kind of lays the foundation, and um, I hope you enjoy it. And as always, please feel free to call me or email me, post things to the um, general help and sharing forum, and enjoy what you're doing and I will see you soon.